I get to Korea, and it's just like, oh, bowing and like everything is so so like kind of like oh welcome you just would never do that i would never you wouldn't see that in a classroom my backpack is like this gotta change it around because because you want to be small do they just do you do this in china too yeah. i don't think our culture is like reserved our country is really small so in order to fight like bigger company uh, bigger countries like we have to be unified so mm -hmm. having that religion with like treating each other with, with respect. It's in China, same thing, right? You don't have, but is that because people are commu not going to touch other people's stuff or because you'll g get in trouble if you touch people's stuff? Actually, I don't think that's if you leave your phone and like we want the spot, not others' phone. And then we go to cafe to get coffee and sit in the comfort, like com comfy spot, not to steal others. We have a cool class today. Hey, does anybody... Um, okay, the ways were not the same is what, what, I'm, what we're calling this class. Anyone feel like volunteering really fast who's got it? Did you apply to volunteer? All right, man, bro, you, come on up for a second. 이미 많은 지원자 학생들을 앉혀두고 또 다시 지원자를 뽑은 샘 교수님, 대체 뭘 하시려는 걸까요? Dude, your job. 뭔가를 하려는 순간. Oh, damn. Wait, hang on a second. Don't look. Damn, that would have been a major fail. Can you go to the first slide? Can you match these seven people with those seven names? Absolutely not. And can you no. can you tell us where they're from? 평범한 자기 소개 대신 다른 나라 학생이 나와 지원자 학생들의 국적과 이름을 맞춰 보기로 합니다. 그런데 Wait, what's your name, by the way? Hi, my my name is uh, Jihad. Jihad. Awesome. We'll apply it right now to the struggle of figuring out who, which person goes with which name. And one's a gimme, bro. If you if you're gonna get at least one right. You mean Jonathan? Yeah. Which one's Jonathan, yeah, yeah. dude? That's I'm guessing. All right, all right, so here you go. How about everybody else? Like, who goes with what name? All right, that's pretty impressive. Okay, it's not her, but that's all right. Well, I don't know. It's... 그렇게 계속해서 오답을 말하던 그때 익숙한 소리가 들립니다. Okay, so Yeji, Yeji, I think it's uh, the girl with the black hoodie. Where's, where's Yeji from? From maybe Korea? Dude, you are... The, 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 the spirit, you are, the, the spirit yeah, is the, rocking with you. 한국인 친구가 있었던 것인데요. 오늘 이야기 나눌 지원자 학생들의 소개를 직접 들어볼까요? Wait, why don't we just go down this row and introduce ourselves? Uh, my name's Jonathan. Uh, I'm a senior marketing student. I'm from Philly. Uh, my parents are from China. Uh, I speak Mandarin. Uh -huh. um, my name's Cadence. I'm a first year comp sci student and I'm half Vietnamese, half Chinese. So in my household, I really only know Vietnamese. And you're also, so you're really connected to Vietnamese culture. Yeah. Uh, my name is Amanda Lee. I'm from Delaware County, so outside of Philly. I'm a junior finance major, so they all speak Chinese, well, Mandarin, but I don't speak or understand any Mandarin. My whole name is Napasakon Dulayatitikun. I'm a fifth year forensic science major. I originally from Thailand. Hi, my name is Yeji. I'm a junior majoring in psychology. I'm from Korea. Both of my parents are Korean. I speak Korean and English. Uh huh. Awesome. How do you do with your name? Yeji. Yeji. Yes. I don't remember. He did pretty well with your oh, name, yeah, actually. Well. Yeah. And he chose you. He knew who you were. He knew you were Korean. Bro, how'd you know she was Korean? How'd you know that was a Korean name? You just got lucky? All right. <laughs> Dude. All right. Hi, my name is Chen Xi, and I'm a senior student majoring in supply chain management. So from China. Hi, uh, my name is Chu Hao, and I'm also from China. I'm a senior sociology major. Okay, awesome. You, you have an English name? No, I go by my Korean name. You go by your... Do you, like, have you ever wanted an, an, like an English name? Mm, no. But, some, but most people do, right? Like, or many of your friends? I mean, I meet almost everyone I meet in Korea has, will give me their, say their Korean name and then we'll say their English name and just call it that. What, how, what? 영어 이름이 없다는 예지 학생의 말에 당황하신 듯 한데요. 교수님이 만난 한국 유학생 친구들은 대부분 영어 이름이 있었다며 그 이유에 대해 물었습니다. Who has like English name? I asked them like, oh, where'd you get the name? And they just say like, oh, I got it from my kindergarten. And then like, 
my English teacher named it for me like that. Just someone gave it to me. Not, yeah, not someone a, gave it to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. My name is really common in my home country. Yeji yeah. is a really common name in South yeah. Korea. And I always wanted a unique name when I was little, like since I was little. And then here, some Koreans have named Yeji, <laughs> but not, like, they, I think I'm the only Yeji here. That's, uh -huh. that's why I use my Korean uh -huh. name. 나를 가장 먼저 나타내는 이름, 자신의 이름을 아끼는 듯한 한국 학생이 참 당당해 보였습니다. We're going to have a, a conversation about some things that I experience in the East. And can we go to the next slide? All right, so, but I want to have a conversation about this. 여러 동아시아 국가의 학생들이 앞으로 나온 이유가 여기 있었습니다. 특히 우리 한국에서 신경을 많이 쓰는 부분이었는데요. 오늘 주제는 개인과 집단에 대한 것이었습니다. It's like going to be a really interesting conversation. I think it's going to be a really interesting conversation. So comportment is like your stature in the world, your way of being in the world, like how you hold yourself in relation to people around you and just how you hold yourself in the world, okay? Comportment. It's not about your personality. It's about the comportment. It's, it goes beyond that. Okay, so it's how you just really are, your beingness. I'm very aware of how people around me are and how they, what they are and who they are. And, and I'm very aware of how I interact in relation to them. It's really, it's a notable thing and it's subtle. It's not like you don't even necessarily see it until you feel it and experience it. And in the West and especially in the U.S., we have a much more of an individualist orientation that I don't walk into any situation and immediately start feeling the energy of people around me. In, in Korea, there's this word nunchi, right? That's really, you, you have high levels of nunchi or low levels of nunchi, but that's like your, your like social awareness or your social intellect. So in the East, because community is really important, Okay, the value of how I stand, like as I'm here, like the energy of you all is really important. Like it's really, you feel that. So like my, because I want to be part of the community or I naturally am part of the community, the, the, the idea is to kind of de-emphasize myself. In the East, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, or in the West, I mean, we're just, just like, let's be unique. So here. 미국에 넘는 개념인 눈치에 대해 설명하신 교수님, 동아시아. 특히 한국에선 굉장히 중요한 부분이라며 아직 완벽히 이해하지 못했을 미국인 친구들에게 좀더 이야기를 들려주기로 합니다. 먼저 중국인 학생들에게 물었습니다. Well, I think like a uh, Chinese classroom is quite different from American classroom because like like in China in China's like university maybe like the rules and the structure are stressed more than anything else so you don't actually don't like behave like out of out of your uh, a set of certain kind of behaviors like in the classroom you have to like seat stand and uh, in a certain way that the teachers want you to do that but like in american classroom i think you can basically uh, do many things that you you do many things that you want so you can like go out to to, to, to go to the bathroom and you can like even sometimes like eat something secretly uh, but that's not possible in in China even like even like raise your hand and ask a yeah, question yeah, you, you have to raise your hand in China before you answer the question but like in in like a macron classroom you can just shout out the, uh, the answer and it's not a big deal so it's, it's just it's really following yeah yeah, okay. So I'm kind of feeling like more freedom in the U.S. And here? And actually everything is kind of like freedom. Yeah, what do, what, what do you mean freedom? Because when you say freedom here to Americans, this is good, right? They start thinking about, you, you're talking about political freedom and like, you know, freedom from the government and freedom from all the cameras that are watching you in China. But I don't think you're talking about that. You're talking about something else. 두 번째 중국인 학생은 미국과 중국의 차이점으로 자유를 꼽았습니다. 학생이 먼저 이야기를 꺼내자 교수님도 앉아 있는 학생들도 중국 학생의 말에 귀를 기울이게 됐습니다. I think is 
the freedom between, uh, for example, maybe students and teachers. Uh -huh. For example, you and me, we can. Uh, I think we, our conversation is more freedom than I did with uh, my teachers in China. Uh huh. Yeah. Like we can have like uh, like, like kind of a back and forth. I I can say whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 막상 답하려니 조심스러워진 중국인 학생 교수님은 눈치채고 한국 학생에게 질문을 돌렸습니다. 예지, what do you notice here? Like, look, I'm thinking about this. So two days ago, I'm in Seoul, right? And I'm just like, there's just a way in which people, people in Seoul are just, it's just not like here. How are they not like here? How is it just different? Try to describe that if you can. Like, what do you, what do you see here that you don't see there? When I say something, I think like I wanted to make sure that I'm saying the right thing like okay. before I say something. Yep. I don't know if I'm. No, no, no. You're on. You're on. Like, what do you? So, what do you mean saying the right thing? Like, you're looking around. Because I care about like because I care about how others think about me. How other people think about you. If I'm a student in this class and and the instructor asks me a question, I'm going to be like, "Hey, I'm going to put it out there." Right? I'm not going to look around and think like, hey, what are these people, what are they going to think about me if I, the way I talk, the way I say anything, I'm just going to put it out there. What are you thinking about? Because I'm not thinking about what anyone else thinks. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Because I don't want to be judged by, what should I, how, how should I say? I see some people who are sitting like, like who sits like this in a classroom, but I never, and like none of my friends sit like this in my own country because like all because I don't want the professor to think about me that I'm like rude or because if you do that I'm gonna if if I'm like right now uh -huh. so if you if you and I look if we you were shaking your head right like if we look out there and we see some people sitting like that we're gonna notice them and they're gonna stand out like this like right there <laughs> okay. like he's gonna stand out uh -huh. and like you don't want to stand out why don't you want to stand? Why don't you want to stand out? Like, what? What's wrong with standing out? Because we we learn to be unique and stand out. Like, what's wrong with that? Or not? What's wrong? Like, why don't you want to stand out? Do you have Do you have a thought on that? So I don't want to stand out in class because I don't want to answer some question from professor. You don't want to be brought up and <laughs> sit in the front. But it's not just in class. It's like stand out anywhere. You're talking about standing out anywhere. 왜 피고 싶지 않은지 묻는 것부터 미국과 동아시아는 확연히 다르다는 것이 느껴지는 질문이었습니다. 우리에겐 어쩌면 황당하기까지 한 질문에 학생들은 쉽게 답하지 못했는데요. When I go to Seoul and I'm watching someone and I'm seeing them just take up a lot of space, I'm like, oh, that's an American. But I don't see that. And so I'm just wondering, like, what, what is that about standing out? Just wondering about that. It's like the subway. You go to subways, it's like deathly quiet. It's quiet. It's so quiet. Okay, so let me ask you. How do you guys see that? Like, how are you compared to your parents or your grandparents? How do you see that? I was going to say, like, maybe when I'm with my family, like, I'm not as, like, outgoing. Like, I don't make as many jokes or I don't talk as much. But then when I'm with my friends who are, like, American, I feel like I am louder. So in what, what yeah. I think, like. What, yeah, what is that? I think the thought process is, like, you don't want to be, like, a nuisance to anyone else. Like, when I go in public, I still do this. Like, I try not to sit near people because I feel like I'm bothering them. But then when you think about it from, like, an American perspective, I feel like Americans don't actually, like, care. You don't sit near people because like, you don't want to bother yeah, them. Yeah, like I don't want to bother people. But then when, like, I feel like Americans don't think about that stuff. Like if you sit at the table next to them, they're going to be like, oh, okay. Right. But it doesn't. I think about that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like you're constantly measuring. It's almost like there's this radar going on and you're measuring constantly all this like energy around you. And, yeah. Uh-huh. 그리고 샘 교수님이 직접 겪은 이야기가 이어졌습니다. Culture is like water that for fish. Like fish don't see water, they don't understand water, they don't know they're in water. So culture is like that. And, and I don't know it until the moment I step, like I leave New York and, and like I go through TSA at New York, first off, right? And first off, they're yelling at you all the time. You're just being yelled at. Like, take your shoes off. Don't take your shoes off. Take your... I was taking my watch off a couple of weeks ago, and the guy says, like, 
do I tell you to take your watch off? I'm like, no, man, damn, dude. He's like, put your watch back on. I'm like, holy shit, dude, stop yelling at me. Like, my God, this is, who are you people? And I get to Korea, and it's just like, oh, okay, bowing and like everything is so so like kind of like oh welcome and then you go through tsa in in korea in like in seoul i walked through two days ago yesterday i'm walking through and 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 the person who's checking me over is like saying oh excuse me like excuse me because it's kind of passed the wand over me it's like oh please don't step over here very kind very gent very calm really nice and like, it's just like space. And they're apologizing for being in my space. I'm like, dude, in New York, the TSA, there's five of them around yelling at me and I'm from across the room and I haven't even done anything. And they're apologizing for like, hey, excuse me, I'm in your space. I'm like, you're not in my space. You're two meters away, but that's okay. This is what I, this is the comportment thing. This is kind of this, this is what I mean. It's like a whole country of shy people. And yet it's not when you meet people you see it. It's not that. 한국의 이야기를 하시던 교수님은 보여줄 게 있다며 갑자기 앞자리에 앉은 학생에게로 다가갔습니다. Like for example, hang on and I'm going to go to you. So, I'm riding the Seoul subway. Bro, is this your backpack? <웃음> 학생의 가방을 뒤적거리더니 한국인들만 하는 게 있다며 보여주셨습니다. So here. So here's Here's how, here's how everyone's got their backpack on, like this, in the Seoul subway. Why do you think they're wearing it like this? So they don't knock people? Yeah, so you don't knock people. Everyone's got their backpack like this. It's like you don't want to knock anybody. Meanwhile, check this out. My backpack is like this, because I'm not thinking about it, because I didn't realize, you know, at first, like, because I always change it when I get in the subway. My backpack is like this, and I'm, like, knocking somebody like this, and I'm knocking someone around, and then I'm realizing, oh, man, hang on, got to change it around, because you want to be small, right? And you, you, do they just, do you do this in China, too? It's a thing? <laughs> Yeah. But it's such, it's like you want to be small. You don't, the last thing I want to do is knock into somebody. You know, like don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be in their space. I want to be really thoughtful and kind. And it's like, get out of the way. And people, when it's crowded, people are pushing around because you can't not do that. But it's like being really aware. I'm like, damn, man, that's, that's, that's this, that's this comportment thing, right? Like don't, just be really, always be cognizant of other people around so you don't make anybody else uncomfortable. 교수님이 말씀하시던 중 손을 번쩍 들어올린 학생이 있었습니다. 손을 든 사람은 중국인 학생이었는데요. 여학생은 나서서 말 못하던 자신이 이 강의에서 발표를 한뒤 자신감을 찾았다는 이야기를 이었습니다. 중국 여학생의 이야기가 끝나자 곧바로 다른 여학생이 손을 들었는데요. Are you going to say something? Do you have something? Here, he's... 한국인 여학생이었습니다. Yeah, one thing that I kind of want to uh, like point out is I don't think our culture is like reserved. Yeah, it's not. It's, that, that's it's, the culture isn't reserved. It's more about um, because our culture is more on like respecting other people. So uh -huh. it's not about like being shy. Um, yeah. No, it's not. I'm glad you're saying that because it's not like a whole row of shy people. No, you go to Korea or you go to China, it's like people aren't shy. But there's it's this it's this interpersonal space in which there's just a deep respect i think like um before korea was modernized we had a like we had confucianism which is like being with, uh, treat others with respect to elders and like um mm -hmm. having those culture like our country is really small so in order to fight like bigger uh, bigger countries like we have to be unified so mm -hmm. having that religion with like treating each other with with respect and now we're modernized and we don't have um the like the religion like the national religion mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yet like the confucianism is still like it's a part still of, there yeah so i yeah. think it's not about like don't stand out be reserved it's more about we respect you as much as we like we respect you as much yeah. as we want to be respected yeah 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 so, yeah like, yeah and so the the be, those are just things that what it looks like, but they don't stand out as there. But listen, you know, it's like this is why what you were saying, I think one of you were saying, maybe it was you, like in a chair in this room, like I sometimes see students put their feet up on the back of the chair of the person in front of them. 
It's like you, like. 한국 여학생의 말에 답을 하시던 교수님은 갑자기 뭔가를 찾는 듯 주변을 두리번거리기 시작했습니다. Like here, like you, I see people come into this. Look, you have right there. You have your feet, and look at. Hang on, don't move your feet at all. Like don't. Hang on, both of you. To all three of you, dudes, do not move your feet. Can you get this on camera? Can you, Wesley? Can you like keep your feet right there? Right, Wesley. You got. See all these feet on the chair right here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Can you see that? Like you just would never do that. I would never. You wouldn't see that in a classroom. Like it's just not what it, because somebody here, someone's gonna come in. Watch, watch what happens. Someone comes in late. I gotta sit in this chair. It's like you would never disrespect somebody like that. Like to like I'm now I gotta deal with your dirty shoes on the chair, and I'm like, you wouldn't do that. Like that is the, that is the single most disrespectful thing you could possibly ever do, right? But it's not here. But you're American. You're all Americans, right? So it's not for Americans. We're just like whatever. It's like sit down. On the chair and like put your head back and. 당당히 발을 얹고 있던 학생도 교수님께서 자리에 앉자. As soon as I do that, you're going to move your feet. But, but that's the thing here that we're not thinking constantly about the other person. What do they need? What do they want? What's someone going to think when they sit in that chair? It's like I want to be aware of that. I want to be thoughtful. I want to be careful about it. Hmm. 미국에선 어쩌면 당연한 일이지만 한국 학생들과 비교하니 조금 씁쓸한 마음이 들었던 모양이셨습니다. I have another question. So when I was in the other day, I was in a coffee shop. This is pretty regularly, and people come into the coffee shop. Leah, you, you and we talked about this before, but like you go in a coffee shop, people go over to the spot where they want to sit, and they take their phone and they put it on the table. And then they go and they get their coffee, or they go somewhere else, or they go wherever, and their phone's just sitting on the table, and it could be there like 15 or 20 minutes, and that's holding their spot, and like you don't even question that, and no one's no one's gonna touch the phone, like nobody would ever walk in and touch their phone, and I'm watching this. I'm in this coffee shop, and there are these computer laptops and phones and all sorts of things that are sitting around. On the tables, and there's nobody there. And I had coffee. At one point, I'm having coffee with this person, and 45 minutes go by, and the phone is sitting on the table the entire time. No one ever showed up for it. And I know it, they were holding the table, like they were just waiting until they came back. And like, it didn't matter. And the thing that's interesting is that nobody would touch the phone. It's not their property, so you wouldn't like. I just touched your phone. Do you, do you guys? How do you? What do you, What do you think about that? As Americans. 한국에서의 당연한 모습에 대해 미국에서만 살아온 학생들에게 물었습니다. 그런데. I mean, in state college, I feel like that happens here too. It does happen. Yeah. Like people would like leave their laptop. Leave their laptops like, around. Like on a desk and leave for coffee. Yeah, in back. in state college yeah. here, like on on campus and stuff. Yeah. 학교 안에선 아무도 가져가지 않는다며 자랑스럽게 말했습니다. 그럼 학교 밖은 어떨까요? Yeah, like I wouldn't do that in like a big city or anything. Like I traveled to Japan with my family before and I saw that all the time like people just leave their stuff around and no one takes it and I think it goes back to that like communal respect thing. Like it's just like by word like no one's going to touch it cuz it's not theirs. Uh -huh. And like my mom wasn't worried about like anything of ours getting stolen or anything but if i was like in the us i would my mom would tell us to like watch our stuff obviously or like mm -hmm. stand near your luggage so no one takes it like i think that is the cultural difference so do you like do you, is right right like so in your mind you have to kind of constantly be balancing these two things out yeah i would say so uh huh do you have that experience at all you you're just you're you're in it yeah. You're in um, the US in that way. Yeah, I think like I was always told to like watch my stuff and yeah, like locker locker in a gym. It's kind of weird coming here and not having to do that. Like at State College compared yeah. to Philly. Um, but yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and and it's not the only place, right? You can go to South in Saudi. You don't you guys don't have that. 
사우디 아라비아엔 처벌이 강력하기 때문에 물건을 훔쳐가는 일이 적다는 이야기였습니다. Yeah, you know, you, you know, that's what I mean. In Saudi, it's the same thing. Like you would leave your cars open, you leave your stuff around, no one's gonna touch it. 한국과 사우디는 치안이 좋다는 이야기에 이어 중국도 비슷할 줄 알았던 교수님께서 중국 학생들에게 당연한 듯 질문하셨습니다. It's in China, same thing, right? You don't have. But is that because the people are not going to touch other people's stuff, or because you'll get in trouble if you touch people's stuff? 그런데 당황스러운 대답이 돌아왔습니다. Actually, I don't think that's if you leave your phone in a cafe shop, it's safe there, because I know. You don't think it's safe? I don't think it's safe, because like the like my phone had been stolen before, so. Yeah, that's my personal experience. Oh, dude, you gotta go to Korea. Wait, do you have a comment on this, by the way? You were shaking your head when I was telling the story. E.G. Oh, that's the funny story. And then, like, um, like we want the spot, not others' phone. And then we go to cafe to get coffee and sit in the comfort, like, com comfy spot, not to steal others' phone. That's why we left our phone in the, we left our phone in on the like table, and then go get coffee, and then. And the other thing is like cameras are everywhere, so yeah, yeah, we yeah. know that we will get caught. That's well, cameras why. are everywhere too, increasingly in the United mm -hmm. States. But yeah, you also have yeah. that. But that's not the driving force because this didn't start with cameras, right? This is like a yeah. long-standing thing. Hmm. Bro, what's your question? 한국의 이야기를 듣자 도저히 믿기 힘들었던 사우디 학생이 질문했습니다. I want to ask a question about hypothetically, if someone leave their cars open, car open. He could want to go to shopping or whatever he does, I don't care. What's the probability, probability, probability of this car being stolen? What's the, mm. Yeah, if you leave a car open in Seoul or in Beijing, what's mm. the po possibility of it getting stolen? In Philly, it's 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it gonna get stolen in Seoul? Yeah, probably not, dude. All right, listen. Can we have applause for the? Uh... 오늘은 공동체 중심의 동아시아와 개인 중심의 미국을 비교하며 서로의 나라에 대해 이해해 보는 시간을 가졌습니다. 자기 소개부터 이름 맞치기를 해보며 서로 간의 거리를 한층 좁힐 수 있었는데요. 오늘은 강의 도중 인상 깊었던 한국 학생들의 이야기들이 많았습니다. 나서기 싫어하고 항상 겸손함을 보여주는 우리 한국인 학생들이었지만 한국을 위해 조금 더 목소리를 낸 것인데요. 함께 발표했던 학생들의 국가는 우리 한국과 함께 동아시아 국가로 한데 묶인 만큼 비슷한 점이 많았습니다. 물론 다른 점도 많았는데요. 오늘은 여러 이야기를 나누며 한국인들이 서로를 얼마나 배려하는지 더욱 체감할 수 있었던 것 같습니다. 특히 가방을 앞으로 매는 것은 정말 생소한 일이었으며 또 카페에 휴대폰을 두고 가도 아무도 훔쳐가지 않는다는 것은 이제는 익히 알려진 것이었지만 아직도 신기해하는 외국인 친구들이 많았습니다. 앞에 앉아있던 사우디 학생은 한국에 관심이 많이 가는 듯 했는데요. 이처럼 우리 한국은 원래 정이 많으며 서로를 배려하고 존중하는 따뜻한 나라였습니다. 최근엔 다들 살기 바빠 이러한 모습들이 많이 옅어졌는데요. 언젠가는 우리의 본 모습이 다시금 되살아나길 바랍니다. 오늘 강의는 여기까지입니다. 시청해주셔서 정말 감사합니다. 강의를 해주신 샘 리처드 교수님 감사합니다.